just keeps going. A little bit fortunate here. He picks that ball back, and it's just a deflection. But Ayumang, no doubt about the finish. The this game goes on, the more confidence Richmond will have. See him here with their first little bit of possession. It's a good ball there. Yeah, good ball switch to the right side. The right back making a run. Brandon Eaton, season already. You can find out more about the USL's evolution by visiting USLsoccer.com, but very European of USL. Clearwater guy taking it away. Yeah, Vingar tried to do the stutter step and switch that speed, that different gear, and try to set. Question, and that's what you need to win more. Have players that have been there and done that before. Shot taken here as it just goes to the left of the goal. Vega, September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, such a phenomenal cause. So all the gold on the field during the pregame, the Rowdies. Wider experience, played a bunch in Ireland. And Murrow laying off for Thompson. A good effort to draw a foul there by Kevin Oliveira. Richmond finally showing some urgency here since those substitutions. A little less than two minutes left here in stoppage time. Mora was there, and Amora will get back into the action. Prince with the slide forward, right on frame, and then that shot forward. Backslash Junior Jacks. Prince getting involved. Another opportunity. Different with it. But I'd be hard pressed to believe Fawn Williams wasn't salivating when he started winding up. Give it a go from here. The answer is yes. And Von Williams hasn't seen much traffic this half. It's too strong. Iose able to keep it in play. Just a sliver of space is all is needed for McInerney. We saw that on the delivery from Ben Network. Great effort that the Indy 11 and the Indiana Donor Network have partnered on over the last several years with Indy 11 soccer. Mares. Gives it a go. Good job of blocking that shot by Richmond. Wow. Well done to avoid two, if not three, defenders. Yeah. To go from getting three points to picking up just one. Scored a 94th minute goal to get a point that looked like they would get none. Quick restart from Spangenberg. As Fernando has some room. It's a good ball by Trevor. Fernando, cut off by Davis. Now Agamang, and he tested Ranjitsi. George Davis. Agamang stepped into that, but Sands recovers. Agamang recovers. Here's Milan Roberts. Scoreless, nearly a quarter of an hour in. Indo, broken up by Swahi. Davis heads forward. Agamang recovers. That's a nice move. NCFC, uh, pro, uh, NYCFC property. He's here on a loan. Big man pushing up. Roll it back for Roberts. Agamang. Probing for Gonzalez. Agamang. Cordovez. Oh, that's a penalty. Cordovez goes down in the box, and the penalty call goes Richmond's way this time. Fantastic ball. Franco. Agamang. Whistle for the fiver. Oh. Shabu gets there first. Agamang. Whistle for the foul as he was. Fiver. Shabu gets there first. 
Agamag whistled for the foul as he was. The TD place, but those next two games, so huge. If you could get even four points, find a way to get a win and a draw. Boy, you're in great shape down the stretch. Comes back into the Richmond half. Here's Milan Roberts. Inside the Richmond penalty area. And it's drilled right into the wall and goes in out for a corner by Kevin Oliveira on the right foot. L. The change in Ottawa's attack with DeSantos in there and even what we've seen from Tony Taylor here in the second half. Didn't see much from him in the open. Clear it from harm's way. So Richmond attacking here, left to right, and they're white. One point ahead of Bethlehem, who would slip out of the playoffs into ninth. And North Carolina FC would then be four points. That has scored them a point, that has won them three points because of his performance. Here's DeSantos now, and 